But I remember going off the boat. Uh, that happened in a, a split second. Like, mm-hmm. just boom, boom, gone. Because as I was flying out, I'm like, I'm in serious trouble. Yeah. This is how you die. I tried to stay on top of the water as much as I could because I knew I had to get away from that boat because I knew what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I probably got, I was probably four feet away from it. Jeez. And at this point, it's wide open. So I took the full wake of that motor in my face. Base. I mean, what are we right here? About three feet? Yeah. So it's just a little bit further. That, bl- that was blasting me, man. Jesus. Blasting me. My whole body was cramping. And I didn't know it at the time, but I had torn my, or blew my glute out. I tore my glute when I bounced off the side rail, which I actually bent the stainless steel side rail and ripped the screws out of the gel coat. Jesus. I know, I told my wife, I said, I'll give you 30 minutes of sledgehammer, you won't do that. The world's going dark, I am tired, man. I'm cold, I am tired. Jeez. And I'm like, I've, I've, at the time, I had about a year, year and a half old and a three year old and a wife. And I'm like, I, I just can't disappear. That was, that was what I was thinking at that point. So to start off with Mark, 13 years ago, he's diagnosed with 4B bone marrow cancer and Jesus. lives. And lives. He's, that's that's his starting point. And he, he survived that. He has a house on a hill that has the perfect view. I swam about 1.2 miles from where my incident happened Holy shit. to where they got me. His view is like 1.5 miles. Perfect. This, this all works out amazing. He used to work on yachts as a deckhand and was actually trained in how to scan water for objects. Oh, no way. So what are the odds? It's, yeah, he, what are the odds? He survives all that. Yeah, that's that's crazy. There isn't a doctor that I went to that said, you should have lived through that easily. Every one of them said, you, how are you here? But you hear a lot of comments like, um, what do I need a life vest for? I can swim. You know, <laughs> if you can't swim, you shouldn't be on a boat. You don't need a life vest. It's uh, like, uh, I can swim. I mean, I've, I, I was taught the skills to do it. I have a lot of experience in a lot of different types of water, lake, river, pools, ocean. I had my life vest on. People like to say all this, but they've never been put in a situation like this. Like I said, you can't let your ego get involved with anything on the water. 